She must be spiritually aligned with birds. They are always there, swooping, diving, congregating. This is Mexican photographer Graciela Iturbide. Her work is primarily centered around documenting Mexican culture. And just like other great photographers who document culture, she talks about becoming a part of the community rather than documenting it as an outsider. Consent is an important issue for her as well. She says that she never photographs people without their involvement, even if it's just a knowing glance. This is one of Iturbide's most iconic photographs. This woman was walking around a market with these iguanas, live iguanas, on her head. And she asked if she could do a portrait. And I really enjoyed seeing the contact sheet of these images to see the different iterations that they went through because these are creatures living, moving around. In the late 1970s, Iturbide documented the Seri people of the Sonoran Desert. This is her most famous image from that series, a photo she says she doesn't even remember taking. It's a Seri woman walking through the desert with a boombox, which became a symbol of old world meaning new world. Death is another theme that frequently enters Iturbide's work. Her six-year-old daughter died in 1970, and she documented a lot of the cultural practices around death to help her process her own feelings. When Frida Kahlo passed away in 1954, her husband Diego Rivera had her bathroom sealed up for 50 years, and Iturbide was invited to be there when it was opened and to document its contents, and it's just really a fascinating set of images. Iturbide hates when her work is called magical or surreal, and she'd rather it be called poetic. Because when she was a child, that's what she wanted to be, a poet. She grew up as the eldest of 13 children. But ultimately, and I think luckily for the world, she chose photography as her means of poetic expression. One of her personal favorite photographers is Brisai, and there's a quote that she really enjoys. It is, Life cannot be captured by realism or naturalism, but only through dreams, symbols, or the imagination.